everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a video I actually didn't plan. I wasn't going to do this video just because some people think that this is gross and I'd ask you guys if you wanted it and nobody said anything. So I was on Twitter and I posted a picture and somebody said I should do a video on it. So now I am. Um, I went dumpster diving. I'm actually going to make two videos. This video is just going to show you everything that I got on this haul and then the second one is going to be tricks and like advice to dumpster diving and what I think you should have and do and like just crap like that. Okay, so this is, I've only been dumpster diving for like three weeks at the most and I've gone like maybe a handful of times so far and I didn't find anything at first. I really didn't. I found like my first time I went, I found this blue eyeliner still in the container. It's by NYX. It was just it's just an eyebrow. It says eyebrow pencil. There's no way I'd put blue on my eyebrows. But um, it's just a blue like eyeliner pencil. That was it. But I was still already excited. Nothing really stopped me. After I started watching YouTube videos on dumpster diving and people's hauls, I was like, I just need to get that one big haul and I'll be set and I'm good. And that's what happened. Within three weeks, I went and I got some good stuff. Usually I go with my sister-in-law. I started going with my husband, but he doesn't really like to for some reason. He gets anxiety. Even though I tell him, just sit in the car. I'll do it. You don't have to do anything. He still gets anxiety, which I don't understand. Sorry, I have like hiccups or like burps or something, and I just want to drink some water. It's probably heartburn. Okay, so... The first things that I got, I will tell you a lot of this was soup. I went on a Thursday morning at like 11.30 in the morning, and I noticed when I got there, there was a bunch of like floor display kind of things in the garbage, and I was like, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. That means they're getting rid of stuff. That's a great sign. So I'm like, this is it. So I started um, going through the bags. A lot of the bags had a bunch of garbage in it, but at the bottom, I would wait I would, like, pick up the bag, let everything fall to the bottom, and then go to the bottom of the bag and, like, open it and see what was in there. And I found, like, a bunch of these lipsticks and, like, eyeliners. They had all been opened. All that was, like, done to them where they were in the bottom of the bag and they were just separated from their lids. So I just picked up all the containers and all the lids, put them in a clean Sephora bag because they had a bunch of, like, Sephora bags in the garbage. Put them in a Sephora bag. When I got back, it was super easy to match them up because I'm just going to tell you what I did. Um, there's color at the top up here. Like, this one has blue glitter. So I was like, oh, great. That goes with the blue glitter one. Um, they weren't dirty. I did clean them all with alcohol. But, I mean, they were just, there was nothing else in that bag besides the um, eyeliners and the, like, lipsticks. But... I will say they were kind of empty. They're kind of dry. I did add um, a couple sprays of alcohol to them. It did kind of work for some of them. Not all of them. Like these lipsticks are dry. So I'm probably going to be getting rid of them. But God, they're gorgeous colors. Anyways, these were the Urban Decay Heavy Metal uh, Glitter Lip Liners. They're really pretty. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm actually wearing one right now. I'm going to tell you all the colors. So the colors of those are this pretty teal, which is in the color... Amp, this one, which I'm pretty sure is the one I'm wearing right now. This is called Junk Show, and it's like a red-purple. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's kind of washing it out because there is a lot of, like, white glitter in it, but it does come out pretty red. So that's the one that I actually have on, and it looks redder on my eye, which is weird. But it is what it is. This uh, silver one, which is just called ACDC, very silvery. It's, like, kind of being washed out in the light, but yeah. And this super blue, like this one was really teal, this one is blue, so you can kind of, yeah, you can see the difference. And this one is called Gamma Rays. Really pretty. And they do work, I don't know if, yeah, that's, that's how they all come out, they're just with their specific color of glitter. So those are really nice, got all of those, just added a little alcohol to them, and... For the most part, those were good. Um, these ones, not so much. These are the Urban Decay Vice Liquid Lipsticks, and I have the color Crimson, which is this, like, pretty red. Back Talk, which is freaking gorgeous, like a pink tan. I love that color. <laughs> I really wanted that one to work, but it didn't. Uh... 
Amulet, which is also really pretty. It's like a slightly darker nudie tan. And Purgatory, which you can actually see like through the container. It was very empty. And this one is like a darker red, kind of crimson color, but it has like glitter in it. It was really pretty, but they just, no, they're not going to work. And when I added the alcohol, it kind of made them dry out your lips even more. So that sucks. But it did get a little bit more of the product off of it. And the last lipstick I got, which I don't know why it was with the rest of these, is, uh, wait, I just read this word. <laughs> Trist. They put a Y in it, and when I looked at it this time, I couldn't figure it out. And it actually has a lot of its product left in it. I just, like, I just put the caps back on them, and they were fine. As you can see, these were testers, but you clean them off, they're fine. Usually with testers, people, hopefully people, will take it and use, like, the little tester containers to use them anyways. If you don't feel cool about using them, that's fine. I don't care. Free makeup is free makeup to me. Um, next the things I got were just these lip liner and eyeliner. This is by Bare Minerals, and it is in statement. It's called Over and Under Liner. Over and Under Over Lip Liner, and I'm pretty sure it's in the color statement or 100% because it doesn't have a color anywhere else on it. But this is the most true red I have ever seen. I put this on yesterday. I'll swatch it for you now and see if you can see it. Like, it is the most true red, not orange, not, like, purple red it is so so pretty and it uh it glides like butter so yeah this is a eyeliner by the brand molly and it is in the color gunmetal it looks slightly blue when you look at it but it comes out like a dark i mean there's a slightly blue tint to it but it's like a very dark almost black i had two of these I did give one to my sister-in-law. Um, I will tell you there are like two or three palettes missing from here because I did give stuff to my sister-in-law. So she does have like three things and then something that I had a double of, which I will tell you what uh, she had. I'll just tell you what she had now. She did get the Urban Decay After Dark palette. I did give her that one and a double I think of this specific one which I had a double of so it didn't matter and then the Urban Decay Vice lipstick pop which was all effed up it had been scraped and um eyeshadow had gotten in it so it was going to be impossible to clean but I told her she could have it if she wanted and she got one of the eyeliners and like a pretty much empty container of the Tarte powder foundation I believe it was the Amazonian one? I don't know, but it was just a face powder and it was pretty much empty. But I really like the package design of that. Okay, so the next things I found were all in a bag together. They were a bunch of palettes. And, uh, actually no, the first thing I found before that was a huge bag that I knew is what they call soup, where it's when they open a product and kind of dump it all over the other products. Which I was okay with. I knew that meant that there was good stuff in it. So what it was is a bunch of these Clinique foundations. There was two of each color and all they did was open them, take off the lids, and throw them in a bag together. And I guess like one or two leaked and that was it. That was all that was in this bag. I'm like, well this didn't get on anything else except for the foundations and all you guys did was take the lids off. So when I got home, I washed everything. I got a big bucket. And I washed them all with soapy water and just put the lids back on, and they were good to go. So we have the color. I did actually break the other one of this specific one last night. Unfortunately, after cleaning it and everything, I was moving the table, and it slid off the edge and busted. I thought I broke more than one, but it was only this one, thank God, which is in the color Eru? Eru? It's E... Oh, it's Ecru. <laughs> it's Ecru. I don't know why I said it wrong, um, but this is the only one that I broke. They are all very similar, but slightly different. I have two corks, two oats, two toasted wheat, which is like the darkest color we got, two honey wheats, two sesame, I already have that one, and then two tea, right? T is the last one I think we have, which is my actual color, which I don't know if it's with the rest of these, because it was the one that I found was closest, closest to my color. So, those are all of them. I mean, they're all pretty similar. 
if you like look at them they're very similar just slightly different which is really awesome so that's great probably gonna let my sister-in-law pick out whatever color matches her the most and she can have two of them and again these were just left open and if you look on the inside you can see they have this kind of like thing to kind of stop the stuff from coming out so they're these are like full and they just have the wands I cleaned the wands before I put them back in but yeah this awesome awesome and I think my husband said these go for like either 27 or like $32 I want to say he said 27 27 each so with all of these I think he said all the foundations I had were like over $300 worth of foundation so did that and then all this stuff was in a bag together and they had opened something to like mess it all up and I swear it had to have been like one of those peely masks or something but it was like all the Urban Decay stuff was in one palette together and um it was this which I'm not actually sure what palette this is what is that? Oh, you guys are sitting on a box um, of dinosaurs. It's literally called a big bucket of dinosaurs. And I was like, who is that? But that's a little kid playing with dinosaurs. Um, <laughs> but it's just all of these. I'm going to try to hold it closer so you guys can actually see how freaking pretty these colors are. There's like a bunch of nudes over here and then more of uh, like party colors, I guess you'd call it. There's a lot of, they're so pretty though. They are all shimmery and this swatch so pretty. I honestly, if I could cut this in half, I probably would have given my sister-in-law this half and just kept this half because this is so more my style. I'm so boring when it comes to eyeshadows. I don't know why, but I want to get out of my comfort zone with these. But these were all scraped. I just um, broke them up and put them back in here with some alcohol. Again, everything has been so sanitized. Everything smells of alcohol. Well, it did yesterday so much so there was this palette which I'm not even sure if you guys know what palette this is please let me know I'm sure it like slid on something or went with something it just it just says Urban Decay on it so this one which is the Troublemaker palette which was also a tester um they barely um they barely touched this one when they were like taking or scratching it they barely touched it but I did try to Put them back together the hardest one was the middle one because it's literally half black and half white so i didn't touch it much but they barely touched it when they were scraping it so that's great and then these two which are my favorite i ended up getting two of these urban decay um afterglows which is the ons which honestly i don't know what that means but they are so pretty i'm gonna be honest with you right now I've never had a good highlighter. I thought I had good highlighters until I got good highlighters. These things are incredible. I'm just, oh, it's so pretty. Like, I was covered in shimmer all day yesterday. These are so pretty, and these were cracked, and there was excess of it, like, all of them mixed together. So what I did was I had this empty Ombre Radiance It Cosmetics like palette I just pressed it in there and sprayed it so this is just all of those colors put together so yeah I have an extra now which is awesome but I had two of these I gave one to my sister-in-law and I kept the other and then the other one is just the basic Urban Decay Afterglow which is broken again these are so soft which is probably why they're not staying as well <sighs> it breaks my heart but this is the other one as you can see, it's falling out. I probably should be reading the names. It has like Bliss, Paradox, um, NSFW, and Side Piece, which Side Piece does not want to stay together. She is a mess. And then the colors on this one were ONS, um, Cliche, I want to say what that one is. Oh, it's windy outside. I was like, what is that? No Angel and Wicked. So... And then, is that all the, oh no, then the other things that came in the Urban Decay bag, which were really messy, was this tester of the Meltdown Makeup Remover Cleanser Oil Stick. This thing was so gross. It had so much eyeshadow on it. I had to get rid of most, more than like half of it. But there's still a huge chunk of stuff in there, like, so, that's great. And then this, they had just taken the lid off of, and the, like, the inside lid got a little dirty but after I cleaned it it's absolutely fine it is the uh, Urban Decay Rehab Makeup Prep 
and it's just pretty gritty like skin polish which is just like this white powder polish stuff which is really pretty I actually have no idea how to use that but it's really pretty so I got those two and then I got I think this is in a different bag I think this was in the bag with the uh, Tarte things. This was just a Bare Minerals Prime Time Original Foundation Primer, which I have a small one of, and this one actually has still quite a bit in it down there, so this was in, like, perfect condition, still together, just covered... What do I want to say this is covered in foundation? This might have been in the foundation bag. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Then I got these two, which were the only thing I really wanted was, like, Tarte palettes, and these I actually couldn't reach. I had to go to my husband in the car and be like, hey, babe, can you help me? If you help me with these, I won't bother you all day, and you can just play video games. He's like, deal. So he, um, <laughs> he was kind enough to come out, and they were just too far down. I'm going to say this one thing about my um, Ulta. The bags that they use are so thin. It's like you touch them, and they just, like, disintegrate in your hands. Such a pain in the ass. I swear, they definitely do it on purpose. Little bitches. But um, these two were in the bag that he grabbed from me. Actually, I think he grabbed a bunch of the bags because they were down at the bottom and I couldn't get them. Even with the little grabber thing, they were just falling apart. So this is, oh, this is the Color Your World um, Contour, uh, it's Color Correcting Palette by Tarte. This one is in, like, really great condition. You can just see them all. They're just, like, liquid or cream face stuff there's like a blush a contour and a bunch of highlights and then a green one so yeah and this one is the double duty beauty eye and cheek palette and happy girls shine brighter which is i'll just show my finger in there this palette right here which is life i hope you can see that without the shine it's so pretty this is like the perfect palette for me like just on the go so i'm probably gonna put this one in my makeup bag because I'm obsessed with it. I love this container too. It's so pretty. Honestly, all I really wanted to find was like one of the um, Amazonian C one, like the C palettes. It's all I want is like one of those. So after I find out, I'll probably just, I'll probably stop looking for things. Next thing I got was actually empty, but this container is so cute. I'm really tempted to break these ones down and put them in here because freaking love this and this one had 18 um shadows and that one has 20 so i'll probably only be like losing 20 if i do but you can see this is like completely scraped empty and this is the two-faced what is this one called a girl's best friend eyeshadow palette and i just couldn't leave it there because look at how freaking cute it has a dang narwhal on it it's just the cutest thing. And I feel like when I looked at this, I thought it was like a bunch of their different palettes put together because it has like the peach on it. It has the um, bread with peanut butter on it. It has like the chocolate Too Faced palette thing on it. So I thought, I was wondering like if this was a bunch of their other palettes put together, but there's a bunch of things that aren't with that those palettes. So, but this is just the cutest container. The colors in it though are very, um, that were in it are very bright and probably not what I would have used. So... I just thought this was cute and wanted to keep it. What else have I showed you guys? I did get a container for the Too Faced. I feel like I already showed you this. It was empty. Oh, this. I did get this. It's completely full. It does say tester. It just doesn't have the lid, which I didn't find. But this is the Philosophies Fresh Cream Hand Lotion. It smells amazing. And I picked up a bunch of Ulta gift cards that were in there. Usually I find these in there. And I called to see if they're empty because somebody told me once that they called and they found like $50 on a card. And I'm like, it's a lot of money on a card. So this takes me like maybe 10 minutes to do all my cards. So, And then this. This is not a makeup find, but it was in the bag with the makeup stuff. This is a pair of glasses. These are... The Solar Accents by uh, Foster Grant, and I think they're like from the Madonna series because it says Madonna over here. These are so nice. I walked into the house with these on after I cleaned them yesterday, and all the lights were off, and I couldn't see a damn thing. And when I stare at my TV with these, because I have an HD TV, when I stare at my TV, I'm not going to lie, everything on my TV looks 3D. You guys can tell me I'm crazy, but can glasses do that? Can glasses make things 3D? Because... Like, my TVs look 3D. I'm not, I'm not crazy. I swear that's what it looks like. Why is, why is my, my TVs are more vivid with these on. How is that possible? 
I'm not crazy, I swear. But that is pretty much everything that I found, except for the palettes that I gave to my sister-in-law. Besides that, that is everything. It was kind of soupy. Some of it was in soup. A lot of it wasn't that dirty at all. Um, some of the things had been scraped, but honestly, the amount of product that was left in them, I probably could have just left them be scraped and used them just fine without, like, having to chop them up and re-put them back in there, which is probably what I'll do next time if there's that much product left in them. But it took me, like, maybe 30 minutes to clean everything because there was, like, three or four bags worth of stuff. But I think my husband said it was over $500 worth of stuff altogether, so... It's up to you whether you think it's worth it or not. I think it's worth it. I could never commit to paying this much for makeup just because I'm so cheap and makeup is just, I love makeup, but I'm just so cheap. <sighs> okay, yeah, I did bring um, hand sanitizer when I went and I did clean everything. Trust me, everything has been so sanitized. I went after I bought all this stuff straight to the Dollar Tree and lucky for me they actually have alcohol in a spray bottle now which was super convenient and I just like sprayed everything. Everything reeked. My hands were so dry this morning. I actually had to use this lotion because I put so much alcohol on my hands yesterday from cleaning. But I will make another video talking about how I like cleaned everything and how I put everything back together and things that you what I think you would need for dumpster diving and stuff like that it's probably going to be the next video i'll probably film it in like two seconds so if you are not subscribed please subscribe to my channel if you like this video and want more like videos on things that i find dumpster diving or thrifting please go ahead and hit that like button leave me a comment and i will see you guys in the next video bye